I'm Sophie. I've never actually uploaded a vlog before and thought, just why not show people what it's like to be me? Oh, am I glad you did. I am Sophie. Young, popular, talented. Woo, baby, yes! Yes! Part of my elation is just that we're 30 seconds in and it's so clear that I am Sophie, the self-proclaimed daughter of a millionaire businessman, is about to deliver us an absolute banger. That's why it is with great pleasure I'm here to welcome you back to the second episode of Spoilt Rich Kids' first YouTube vlog, review, show. And it might look like I've got it pretty easy, but this, all these crazy things, private jets, fast cars, beautiful friends, she is the female Bobby Meisner to a T. You guys remember Bobby from last year, right? Your life is like a movie, and you're the main character. When I first moved out here, I imagined my life to be like a movie. Girls sipping cocktails by the swimming pool, fast cars through the hills, the craziest parties. Guess what? Most of it came true. <laughs> so Bobby was a bit of a fan favorite of the commentary community back in late 2018, and he's a bit of a legend to this day, and I'll, I'll let you interpret that however you want. One of his first vlogs, Life of a Billionaire Son, went viral at that time, and it was a fun trip, you know? Just a bunch of B-roll of rich people stuff, and then him trying to act profound, uh, while well, mostly coming across as unself-aware, but he seems like an okay guy. But I do have a bone to pick with you, Bobby Meisner. Since I've been given this dream opportunity, I'm gonna be announcing an upload schedule twice a month starting January. Fast forward 14 months and we haven't even seen half of the promised two vlogs per month. I'm so sick and tired of being lied to by rich people. If I was into that, I'd get into politics, but I don't need that out of my rich, spoiled YouTube vloggers. Anyways, it looks like I Am Sophie is using the same playbook. She even had the nuts to upload a video called The New Queen of YouTube, which is just a trailer for her first YouTube vlog. <laughs> Imagine that. Am I being real? Am I being... Me. Okay, I have not been hooked by a trailer like that since Avengers Endgame. I mean, I just thank Christ that the vlog is out already because I, I couldn't wait. Am I being real? Am I even being me? Give me that sweet, sweet B-roll, baby. Why are you not playing? What the hell is wrong with this thing? Yo, Leon in a blue inner hat, what the hell are you doing here? Honestly, I, I don't know. Is it sponsor time, maybe? Oh, snap, you right. <laughs> you guys know by now that Raycon's E25s are my go-to wireless earbud. They look cool, they sound great, they're affordable, and they added 100 pounds to my bench press by swallowing one pair every single morning. All right, I may have embellished that last part a little, but for earbuds as subtle and stylish as the E25s, they really found a way to pack a punch in a package this size that doesn't leave you wondering where all the bass went. That's traditionally why I didn't used to like earbuds because there was no bass until these E25s came along. The Bluetooth pairing is a breeze and you get a noise isolating fit that comes in multiple colorways. They're perfect for working out and everyday use, honestly, and the case charges on the go, so you get several heavy days of use before having to even plug in. I mean, I haven't charged these in over two weeks, I don't think, and they're still trucking. So if you're not gallivanting around the world in your father's private jet like our friend Sophie here, maybe you'd like to save 15% on your very own pair, which you can do by using my link in the description of this video. That's buyraycon.com slash Leon Lush to save 15% on your very own pair. I appreciate you guys. Poppin' B-roll, baby. I'm Sophie. <laughs> Was that really cringe? Should I do that again? Yeah, probably, but just leave it in though. It makes you look quirky and relatable. I've never actually uploaded a vlog before, but my good friend Ben has been making videos for like ever and they are absolute fire. And thought, just why not show people what it's like to be me? I could probably give you a few reasons, but big ups to Ben for getting you to do it anyways, because it, let's be honest, it's fun for normal people to take the piss. <laughs> B-roll, B-roll. First and foremost, I would consider myself a businesswoman. I'm really smart in business. Uh, I'm really smart in business. Is definitely a phrase you always hear from people that are actually good at running businesses. I'm also a model, because <laughs> you know, there's like hella Insta vibes there and the free clothes are sick. I just want to show you guys 
what it's like to be me living this hectic lifestyle as a millennial. Well, I think I speak for everyone when I say we're here for it and we fully support you. Just look at all these comments you've gotten. Oh boy. On uh, second thought, maybe don't scroll down there. Hey guys, so this is where I live. Oh, hell yeah, now we're showing off the good there. stuff. I don't know, like you'll see inside, like it's super old fashioned. But yeah, I guess I'm like super, super lucky about all the space and stuff. Dad always gets offended. He's like, it's a whole lot of mansion, so. <laughs> <laughs> this is the library. There's like so many super old books from all of our ancestors and things. So it's like not really my vibe, but. Okay, I'm sorry that at this point I overused this bit, but no cap. That library was sick. <laughs> I developed a bit of a library fetish after watching Beauty and the Beast about 267 times as a child, so needless to say, I'm at uh, full attention right now. <laughs> this is one of the living rooms, but it's more like the entertainment living room. Dad will like, have his friends around and someone will be playing piano. <laughs> A really nice, like, fireplace. I mean, you didn't have to prove to us that you suck at piano. We kind of assumed it was decorative, but you could have left it open-ended, like maybe there's a chance you possess a talent other than having a wealthy father. I'm kidding. I'm sure she's lovely, and I'm not an eat-the-rich type of person, right? But I do get a kick out of, uh, you know, like the Bobby Meisners and this girl, some of these mega-rich people that make these YouTube vlogs, and, you know, they're rich, so they turn them into, like, these short indie films that sound super profound and try to get all introspective and, and into intellectual about it. Am I being me? It's all just fluff and sexy B-roll and you know being mega rich is probably awesome for a lot of reasons but it's tough I think for a lot of people especially when they grow up that way because they don't really bring a lot to the table sometimes other than being mega rich like that becomes their entire identity. This is one of my favorite parts of the house and it's the conservatory. Oh look at these plants. So dope. It's like super wholesome and like country living vibes. So here's the garden. Like dad is like super proud of the garden. Even though he doesn't do it, it's great for sunbathing. Nature like really f makes you feel at one with yourself and stuff. Like just makes me like super chill and like meditative. Just looking at plants and grass and like pigeons. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm good. In case you're wondering, yes, she did add uh, pop tags to her Lambo and private jet. To my disappointment, I checked and they don't have their own Instagram page. B-roll, 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 B-roll. So here we have um, our cream leather seats. It's from Macau. Um, and their skin is meant to be a lot softer, so it is really comfortable. I told Dad to go for black, but he pays, he decides. I mean, as an aspiring YouTuber, I think it definitely helps to be relatable. So talking about the interior leather options of your dad's private jet is probably the right move here. This is my dad. He literally grew a million dollar empire from nothing, like literally nothing. I don't know how he did it. But didn't you say... I'm really smart in business. So certainly you must have some idea how he... Grew a million dollar empire. I'm really smart. So then you do know? I don't know how he did it. You know what, I quit. This is confusing. I'll show you the windows now. It's like a complete blackout, so when we're on a long flight, then at least I can get to sleep. Oh, they're a bit stiff. Oh. Get dad to fix that. Dad fixes everything, doesn't he? My mum is fit, like she is literally on fire. Ben, that's my mum. <laughs> she was a supermodel back in the days. I really appreciate learning that from her. So you're gonna give us a pop tag for your private jet and your Lambo, but not have the courtesy to give us a pop tag for your fit mum on Instagram? Absolutely selfish. Don't be a pervert. Oh no, no, not for me. It's, it's for my audience. I'm married, come on. These seat belts are super duper strong. I know loads of people think private jets aren't safe, so I made sure we had like really good security and stuff in here. Do you think she has any idea it's, what she's doing? It's like literally impossible to fall out of them. They like clip in so well. Like I'm not going anywhere. B-roll! I feel like if you're powerful in your body, then you can be powerful in anything. If you throw a good punch. Throw a good punch. You throw a good punch at life. Throw a good punch at life. 
Perfect. I mean, she was not fronting when she said she was going to show us the guide to being young, rich, and powerful. This is gold. Now I'd like to introduce you to my personal trainer, Lewis. He is like super dope for everything he does, nice. like boxing, rowing, like you do it all. So yeah, tell them a little bit about yourself. Okay, so I've been a boxing trainer now for about two years. Uh, my youngest client's five, my oldest client's 72. Teach you to all fitness levels. Um, all this abilities. So Tell them about the celebrities. I can't really talk about that, unfortunately. It's a bit confidential. He teaches loads of celebrities. That's why he's being modest. <laughs> yeah, okay. Cringe. So I work in three other gyms as well as go around primary schools and teach it to youngsters. And instead of physical but education... How, how do you find it training me? For the love of tits, let the man finish. It's okay for someone to talk for more than 10 seconds, even if it's not about you. So tired of women just talking over men. This matriarchy power dynamic has gone on for too long. <laughs> um, it's gone it's going quite well. Um, I, there's a couple of feedback points we can work on now. Like yeah, so, yeah, it's going really well, basically, is what he's trying to say. Dear God, take me now. I do not get paid enough for this bullshit. But I can't keep my chin down all the time because then the cameras can't see. Okay, well, it's important that you do keep your head down. Uh, okay, you've got to keep God. your hands up and protect yourself. Okay, Guys, I don't know if you heard that, but protecting yourself is the most important thing in boxing. Yeah, you may be looking super piff and stuff, but you've got to hide your face at all times. <laughs> Forward. Like you said, you don't always have to throw a punch, but just so everyone knows that I can throw a punch, like if anyone does come at me. I'm not an aggressive person at all, but I can be if I want to be. That is good to know. I'll be sure to steer clear of you on the street, but more importantly, can you handle a YouTube comment section because it is a it is a war zone down there. So what's like a shot I can do that's like the most like cool looking? I'm really smart. Hell yeah, and with a little B-roll, are you taking a selfie in the gym? Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow my gram, check me out. We've got some really exciting things coming up. Peace and love. Relatability, zero out of 10. Excessive B-roll, 10 out of 10. Lambos, private jets, force profundity, 10 out of 10. This has every ingredient for the perfect Spoilt Rich Kids first YouTube vlog. I'm blown away by how hard she smashed this out of the park. Now in the comments, there's a lot of people taking this at face value and just kind of dumping on this girl, which is unnecessary. But Charlie did raise a good point as well. Private jet, Lambo, no AirPods. <laughs> Seems a little suspect if you ask me, and other comments are talking about this maybe being a parody. So I got to thinking and I did a little investigate. You go to her Instagram page and all these have been posted in the last month, February 5th being the earliest one, which is just a still from the video we just watched. Also this young, rich and powerful thing she's doing is apparently like a clothing drop, which she has a promotional video for up on her YouTube page. $94 t-shirts and $144 hoodies, you know, classic rich girl wants to make a clothing line nonsense. Bobby Meisner did the same thing a couple years back as well. But wait, everything is sold out? How am I gonna get my premium YRP t-shirt at $94. February 23rd, merch has dropped. Here's a link to my website. Also February 23rd, oh my God, guys, the first drop is now sold out. Thanks so much to everyone that bought so quickly. What? Neither of those tweets have a single like. You just started all your social media accounts like a month ago. And you mean to tell me you sold out a $94 fucking t-shirt? Get the fuck out of here! And even worse, she tried to unironically look cool smoking a jewel in the promotional video for her clothing line. Hi, FBI. I have a fraud to report. So I don't know, man, you guys tell me. That whole merch thing is what threw me way off, but if this is a parody, she certainly went to great lengths with the mansion and the Lambos and the Jets. Maybe she's already rich and just kind of doing this for fun and she's actually kind of a cool girl and just taking the piss out of the whole lifestyle thing, or or this is somehow, this is real and it's, well, it's, we, you saw it, you saw it. And without fail, I'll get a few comments that say, oh, you Leon, you know by making a video about her, you're, you're doing exactly what she wants you to do. Of course I know that, but it's fun. And I don't give a shit, give her 50 million subscribers, I could care less, more stuff to laugh at. Let me know what you guys think about her, I'll be sure to keep an eye for more, oh my god, with it she just uploaded a brand new vlog! <sighs> well, maybe another time. Until then, I appreciate you guys so much for watching, if you'd subscribe, if you haven't already, that would mean the world, and do me a favor and put on Pony by Genuine, slowly pull down your pants, and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me, I'll see you guys in the next video, peace. <laughs> you, you, you.